What is up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. Thank you guys. My name's Jeff and on today's show we're going to be going over the differences between film forming and penetrating sealers for concrete. Uh, what are the pros and the cons of each one and why would you use one over the other for a specific situation so stay tuned and you're going to learn. All about it. So we already have tons of videos on our channel about concrete sealers, but honestly, we were answering uh, some questions in the comments the other day, and we realized that we didn't have any videos explaining uh, why you would use a penetrating sealer or an acrylic sealer for your next concrete project. Now, there is a pretty big difference between these two types of sealers, and it is pretty important to understand the characteristics of each one so you can make the best decision possible. So we're gonna just go over them one at a time, and then we'll do a quick little recap at the end just to hit the main points one more time. So first up is going to be acrylic or film forming sealers and you know these kind of sealers are the stuff that just it kind of just sits on top and it literally creates a film and you know it's not like it doesn't penetrate the surface at all it does just a little bit but for the most part it is a layer that is on top of the slab. Now most of these sealers are going to be made out of acrylic and there are solvent and water based options available and there's no you know exact right or wrong between water based and solvent based although I will say that the solvent based ones although they're going to be a little bit more expensive uh, they are a lot more forgiving they're gonna dry faster they're gonna dry up better if the weather's a little bit cooler and they also do darken the color uh, a lot more than the water-based options do now these kind of sealers will also aid in the curing of the concrete um, but just keep in mind that if you're gonna use one of these sealers to cure the concrete you do still need to put more on later to seal it you know you really can't do both of these things at the same time and we have a full video on this uh, so just make sure you check that one out so you get a clear understanding of curing versus sealing and so when it comes to those solvent based acrylics you know these are the ones that really really bring out the color and this is just what most people are going to want for stamp concrete not only just the color of the concrete itself but also you know whether you put some sort of uh, antiquing on the concrete or whether you use powder release these are the things that are going to make that antiquing color look right honestly stamp concrete it just doesn't look the way it's supposed to without some sort of acrylic sealer on it now you could use a water-based acrylic for this too it will bring out the color just a little bit but not nearly as much as the solvent based options will and the other thing about the water-based acrylics is they're really, really hard to fix if you do have a problem down the road. Solvent-based uh, acrylics, you know, if you do have some problems, whether it's a little bit of uh, whiting issues or whether you have a little bit of flaking, you know, these are things that can actually be repaired without removing them. Uh, where water-based, if you have something to go wrong with those, it's pretty much removal is the only option. So personally, I like to stick to strictly solvent-based acrylics when it comes to stamp concrete. Now, acrylic sealers are also available in gloss or matte finishes. Um, all I gotta say is just be careful with the shiny ones because in order to make a slab of concrete really shiny, you pretty much just have to put a lot of sealer on it and that's what leads to problems down the road. So I personally, I really like the matte finish options the best. Now, onto the penetrating sealers, and these ones do exactly what they say. They, they don't fill over film on the surface, they just penetrate down into the pores and they make that surface really water repellent. Now, these are absolutely great for driveways. Uh, first of all, just because of that you get a lot of salt protection out of these things for years. So those penetrating sealers, water repellents, these are absolutely great for driveways. Uh, first of all, you know, the, the fact that these won't actually darken the color like acrylic sealers will, uh, there is, to me, there's just no better looking driveway than that really nice light cured out, uh, just uncolored concrete. And, you know, this is a really forgiving way to go about it. It doesn't darken the surface, so you just end up with that really nice, white looking driveway now most of the penetrating sealers out there are not gonna help cure the concrete um, then they're gonna need to be applied 30 days later now even the ones that do cure the concrete you're still again you're not doing both at the same time if you're gonna spray it the day you poured it you're gonna be using that as a cure but you still need to come back 30 days later in order to actually properly seal the, the, the concrete. Now, because these sealers won't darken the color of the concrete, it also just makes them really easy to use. You know, things like roller marks or, you know, uh, a little spray pattern from your sprayer, those things, they, they just don't show up with these because they're not darkening it. They're just, they're just diving down in. I've seen so many times people that want to reseal their driveway that was poured, you know, five years ago, and they walk into a concrete supply store, they hand them a bucket of solvent-based acrylic, and don't get me wrong, like that's gonna protect their driveway just fine, but I 
I've seen so many pictures of how bad that looks, especially, you know, if you're not used to doing this every day, there's just roar marks everywhere. You can see exactly where it's sprayed. These kind of sealers, we won't uh, have that problem. Now, the fact that they don't darken the surface, it doesn't make them very good for stamped concrete or really just colored concrete in general. Again, most people, um, they want to bring that color out. These will not do that for you. And honestly, when uh, how do you know when it's time to reseal with the penetrating sealer? Well, once this lab starts taking water, in, uh, soaking water in again, and it's not very water repellent, all you do is clean it up, spray more on, super, super easy. So whether it's driveways, patios, sidewalks, honestly, pretty much any exterior broom concrete that's not colored, this should be the go-to option. Now, there is one more thing out there, and I look at this as kind of like a hybrid sealer, and these are sealers that uh, form a film, but also do penetrate the surface as well. And D1 is a great example of this. It does form a film, it brings out all the color, but it also has a water repellent ingredient in there that penetrates down in, so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. It's also that film that it leaves behind, it brings out all the color, but it's a pretty thin film, uh, which makes it a very matte finish, which to me looks just perfect for stamped concrete. And again, the less film we pile on the slab, the less potential for problems we have down the road. And that honestly makes D1 or sealers like this the absolute best option for stamped concrete, period. All right, so before we finish up here, just a quick little recap, just to hit the main points one more time. So acrylic sealers are gonna form a film on the surface where penetrating sealers are gonna dive down into the pores of the slab. Acrylic sealers can be used uh, as a curing compound, but most penetrating sealers are not gonna help the concrete cure and they need to be applied 30 days later. Solvent-based acrylics are gonna darken the color of the concrete making them an excellent choice for decorative concrete projects. Penetrating sealers, on the other hand, they are not gonna enhance the color and that makes them great for driveways or pretty much any exterior concrete that's not colored or stamped. Now, both of these types of sealers are available in a wide variety of options, so just please check out the sealer page on our website to learn more about each of them. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this week's show. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch these videos, man. We really, really do appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel every week. Also, don't forget about the Decorative Concrete Expo. It happens every single March. All you gotta do is click the link right down in the description and all the information is there. 